Hello guys, welcome back to Design Hub. In today's video, we will go through part 2 of special piping components. In the previous video, we learned a lot about valves. Now, let's dive into the details of the long weld neck flange. They are made according to ASME B16.5 standard. A unique kind of flange utilized in piping systems, particularly in high pressure and high temperature applications, is the long weld neck, LWN, flange. With an expanded neck that serves as a nozzle for a variety of applications, including heat exchangers, reactors, and pressure vessels, it is an extension of the weld neck flange. Here is a thorough examination of the attributes, uses, and benefits of long weld neck flanges. Firstly, let's see the design and construction. Neck extension. An extended neck that offers a smooth transition from the flange body to the pipe is the distinguishing characteristic of a long weld neck flange. This design reduces the concentration of stress at the flange's base, which is especially advantageous for systems subjected to harsh environments. Butt weld connection. The long weld neck flange is joined to the pipe with a butt weld, much like a standard weld neck flange, guaranteeing a sturdy, leak-proof connection. Additionally, the weld strengthens the structure, making it appropriate for demanding applications. Types of end. The long weld neck flange's end can be machined or beveled to fit the size of the equipment or pipe that connects it. The neck's length and thickness are tailored to meet the particular needs of the system. Now, let's see the applications. The first is high pressure systems, due to their sturdy construction, which reduces the possibility of leaks or failure under pressure and offers extra strength. Long weld neck flanges are frequently utilized in high pressure systems. The second is high temperature systems. The extended neck of these flanges helps dissipate heat and lessen thermal stresses, making them perfect for high temperature applications like steam systems. The third is heat exchangers and pressure vessels. They are frequently employed as nozzles in heat exchangers, reactors, and pressure vessels where structural integrity is crucial. Better alignment and connection to the equipment or vessel are made possible by the long neck. Fourth is pipelines. Long weld neck flanges offer a dependable and long-lasting connection in industrial pipelines transporting corrosive or hazardous fluids, lowering maintenance requirements over time. The thing we will see now is, how it benefits the process industry. The first one is structural integrity. It is extremely resistant to bending, vibration, and other mechanical stresses because of the long neck's added reinforcement. Because of this, it is a dependable option for demanding and high-stress applications. The second one is decreased stress concentration. By minimizing stress concentration at the weld point, the progressive transition of the neck lowers the likelihood of fatigue and failure. The third one is a leak-proof connection. When handling hazardous or high-pressure fluids, a strong, leak-proof union is ensured by the butt weld connection. Customizable design, long weld neck flanges provide flexibility in design and installation by matching the requirements of the equipment or pipe system. Let's see some negative aspects of this flange. The first one is cost. Because of its longer length and greater material content, long weld neck flanges are typically more expensive than other flange designs. The second one is installation complexity. To ensure a leak-proof connection, accurate welding, and correct alignment are essential, necessitating a skilled welding process. Last but not least, it is not suitable for short pipelines. Due to their length, these flanges are often not utilized in low-pressure or short pipeline applications, where simpler flange types might be more affordable. Next is the orifice flange. To assess the fluid flow rate in a pipeline, an orifice flange is a type of flange that is used in conjunction with an orifice plate. This flange makes installation and maintenance of orifice plates easier and is specifically made for metering applications in process facilities. An orifice flange, which is a weld neck, is built under ASME B16.36 standard and has an orifice plate in between. On the flange rings attached to a delta pressure device, there are two half-threaded or nipple flange tapping points. The orifice flange is the only one that genuinely serves a purpose among the flanges that have been examined. The orifice flange's job is to gauge how quickly the commodity passes through the pipe system. Because they have a hole drilled through their face perpendicular to the pipe, orifice flanges are simple to identify. They also have jack screws, which are an extra pair of bolts. These screws aid in separating the flanges so that the orifice plate can be inspected and or replaced. One element that makes up the orifice flange union assembly is the orifice flange. The orifice flange union is made up of two gaskets, bolts, nuts, jack screws, and an orifice plate. An illustration of a detached and unbolted orifice flange union assembly is provided. Let's see the design and components of this flange. Orifice plate, installed between two orifice flanges, the orifice plate is a thin metal plate with a hole in the middle. 
The fluid flow rate can be established by calculating the hole size and shape to produce a particular pressure drop. Pressure taps, on either side of the orifice plate, orifice flanges are fitted with pressure taps, commonly referred to as bleed ports or jack screws. With the use of these taps, the differential pressure produced by the orifice plate may be measured and the flow rate can then be determined. Bolts and gaskets. The bolts, nuts, and gaskets needed for assembly are usually included with orifice flanges. In addition, the flanges feature spacers or other components that provide the quick removal or replacement of the orifice plate without requiring the disassembly of the entire flange assembly. Types available. Orifice flanges can be found in a variety of forms, including threaded, slip-on, and weld neck. The application's pressure, temperature, and pipe requirements all influence the type of flange that is selected. Now, let's see the applications of this flange. The first one is flow measurement. In pipelines, orifice flanges are frequently employed to gauge the rate at which liquids, gases, and steam flow. In sectors like electricity production, chemical processing, and oil and gas, they are extensively utilized. The second one is differential pressure measurement. Orifice flanges can be used not only for flow measurement, but also for measuring the differential pressure across the orifice plate. This measurement can be utilized to monitor process conditions and spot problems like leaks or blockages. Last advantage but not least is compatibility with various fluids. Steam, gases, and clean liquids are just a few of the fluids that orifice flanges can be used with. However, they might not be the best for fluids that are very viscous or include particles, as this can lead to clogging and decrease accuracy. The advantages of an orifice flange are as follows. The first one is precise flow measurement. When appropriately calibrated, orifice flanges offer dependable and precise flow measurement, which qualifies them for use in crucial process control applications. The second one is maintenance ease. The design eliminates the need to disassemble the complete flange assembly for simple orifice plate installation, inspection, and replacement. The third one is a cost-effective solution. Orifice flanges are an affordable option for measuring flow, particularly in situations where the cost of alternative flow measurement equipment would be prohibitive. The fourth one is versatility. These flanges work with a wide range of fluid types and can be employed in many pipe diameters and materials. Now let's see what are the disadvantages of orifice flange. The first one is pressure drop. When an orifice plate is present, there is a pressure drop across the flange. This might affect the efficiency of the system and necessitate more pumping power. The second one is that it is not suitable for dirty fluids. Because particles or solids might clog the orifice plate and compromise measurement accuracy, orifice flanges are generally not advised for fluids containing these materials. Last but not least is limited accuracy at low flow rates. Because the differential pressure may be too tiny to measure precisely, orifice flanges may not offer reliable readings at very low flow rates. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engineering insights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then learn in advance.